Hello, everybody. I'm Jack Smith, and welcome or welcome back to the Cold Hard Truth, the place where we bring you the cold hard truth on everything football. In this video, I'm going to be ranking the top free agent at every single position in the NFL and also giving you my top landing spot for them in free agency. But the one rule is that they cannot re sign with the team that they are on right now. When I was going through this list, I think a lot of these guys will end up re signing. So I wanted to give one unique option for all of them if they get past their other team and they go to a new team in free agency. Wanted to make this video unique and give you some alternate landing spots in case they don't re sign. But let's get it right into it. At the quarterback position, I have Dak Prescott. Dak has been a controversial quarterback for a lot of his career and he's hated and loved by many on both sides of the spectrum. But he absolutely exploded last year before suffering an injury at the end of week five. To the first four and a half weeks, Dak threw for almost 1,900 yards while throwing nine touchdowns and four interceptions. He was on pace to shatter the passing records in the NFL before being unfortunately injured in a week five matchup against the Giants. But after he comes back from injury, I do believe that Dak can pick up where he left off. And while I think that he will return to the Cowboys either by a new contract or being franchise tagged once again, I think if he does hit the free agent market, I think he will sign with the Carolina Panthers, a team who is maybe a quarterback away from being a real contender in the NFL with all the young pieces that they have. Anish recently did a video on this where he predicted the Carolina Panthers quarterback situation and Dak was one of those options. So if you want to hear more about what he had to say, I'll link the video up right here as well as put it in the pinned comment and the description. At the running back position, I have Aaron Jones of the Green Bay Packers. And while I think there are some great running back options this year in free agency, I think Jones is the best one just squeaking in over Chris Carson. And the reason that I put him in over Chris Carson is his overall versatility. He's rushed for almost 1,100 yards two seasons in a row, but he's also a great receiving option. Uh, I believe he led the league in touchdowns just a year ago, not this past year, but the year before that. So he's shown that he can get into the end zone and he can run the ball and receive the ball at almost an elite level. And while I don't value the running back position too much, I think he's one of the best in the league. And I personally don't think that he will return to the Green Bay Packers, but in this exercise anyway, he's not going to. So I think his new team would be the Miami Dolphins who need playmakers to help Tua Tagovailoa progress. So I think that they go after Aaron Jones to be their running back, I think is also a great fit for the system that they run. At the wide receiver position, I have Allen Robinson of the Chicago Bears, a fellow NFC North rival of Aaron Jones. And I have him just getting in here over Chris Godwin from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And he's had a tremendous last couple seasons with the Chicago Bears after coming there from the Jacksonville Jaguars, tr proving that he can be that number one option for a team. And that was with quarterbacks like Mitch Trubisky and Nick Foles. So imagine what he can do if he goes to a team with a good quarterback. And for that reason, I have him going to the New York Jets because I think they will draft their franchise quarterback this year either in a guy like Justin Fields or Zach Wilson and they need to go out and get them a number one wide receiver because while I love Jamison Crowder and I think Denzel Mims is going to be good I don't think either of them are number one options right now and if you're going to get a rookie quarterback having him be able to throw to Allen Robinson is a great move and a great pickup for your new young quarterback the best tight end in this class, free agent class by far, is Hunter Henry from Los Angeles Chargers. And when healthy, he is among the best tight ends in the NFL. His problem has been in the past actually staying healthy, but he was healthier this season. And I think that hopefully he can progress to be at that level and keep being healthy in the future. And we don't know whether he will return to Los Angeles Chargers, but like I said in this exercise, it doesn't matter. So I have him going to the Cincinnati Bengals who will pick up another weapon and they'll improve at the tight end position for quarterback Joe Burrow. They need to uh, you know, get positions over the offensive line, which you'll see later in this video actually. But I think in this one, they get a tight end for Joe Burrow, a good safety blanket with some upside potential and speed, uh, particularly to play well for Joe Burrow and the rest of that Cincinnati Bengals offense, pairing him with the receivers that they have. I think the best tackle in this free agency class is Trent Williams, who was with the Washington football team or the Washington Redskins when they used to be in is now with the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, he is one of the best tackles in the league. He's so dominant. You see all the crazy blocks he has every year. He's just a very dominant tackle, good in pass protection, good in run blocking, just a very well-rounded, talented tackle. And while he is getting a little bit up there in age, tackles like him usually play very long in their career. So I think that he will continue his career. And I believe that it will will be uh, for the Jacksonville Jaguars protecting Trevor Lawrence's eventual blind side. They need to get a franchise tackle. And I think that Trent Williams is the perfect option for them, a mauler in the run game and a great protector. So I think getting him for Trevor Lawrence is a great way to start off Trevor Lawrence's rookie career. 
I mentioned that the Bengals would appear later in this video, and that's going to be right here, grabbing the best guard in free agency in Joe Tooney, who's had some tremendous seasons with the New England Patriots. I contemplated Brandon Sheriff, but I think Tooney is the safer, younger option to go with here at left guard. And I think he'll go to the Cincinnati Bengals because, like I said, they need improvements all over the offensive line. Really, you could argue that they need to improve on all five spots on the line. And Tooney is the best option at the guard position. So I think they go out and they grab him. I'm not sure if he'll return to the New England Patriots, but like I said, this exercise, I think he goes to the Cincinnati Bengals if he goes to a new team in free agency. Uh, moving on to the center position, I think you have arguably the best center in the NFL and Corey Lindsley, who's going to be let go by, uh, by the Green Bay Packers. And I think that he is easily the best center on the market, one of the best in the NFL. If you're not the best, I think that you can make an argument for him for sure. And I think that if he goes to a new team this year, it will be with the Los Angeles Chargers because they need to improve at that center position to replace Marquise Pouncey, who retired this year. So Justin Herbert gets a new signal caller, or I guess a new center. He's the signal caller, but he gets a new guy to snap him footballs and protect him and run block for Austin Eckler and the other guys that they have there. But a good move by the Los Angeles Chargers, I think, if they do it. Uh, and that's the most likely landing spot I have for Corey Lindsley, the best center on the free agent market. Moving on to the defensive side of the ball, we have the D-line, and I grouped the D-line into interior D-line and edge, which we'll see next, but I think the best interior D-lineman in the NFL, or sorry, in the NFL free agent class is going to be Leonard Williams from the New York Giants and formerly of the New York Jets. A, a breakout year this year for him. Everyone always believed that he had the potential to be among the best defensive linemen in the NFL, and this year he really showed that, uh, absolutely breaking out a big play machine, getting sacks and tackles for loss throughout the entire year, a ton of pressure put on the quarterback and that's what everyone wanted to see from Leonard Williams and he finally showed it and I think that if he doesn't return to the Giants this year he'll go to the Tennessee Titans to make a great pass rushing combo with Harold Landry and Jeffrey Simmons which is what they need and what they've needed for years that interior pressure along with Jeffrey Simmons and then Harold Landry on the outside and if they decide to make an edge move in the draft could really revolutionize that pass rush and really help them out going into the playoffs and the rest of the season next year. Then at the edge position, I think Shaquille Barrett is easily and far and away the best edge on the free agent market this year. And I think that after coming off a dominant playoffs and a Super Bowl victory, he has to be given a lot of money. He won't get the franchise tag again, I don't believe. I think he's due for a large contract from any team. And if he doesn't go back to the Buccaneers, I have him actually going to join Josh Allen in Jacksonville. So Jacksonville, two big splashes in this scenario to form a great pass rush duo with Josh Allen. Uh, so I think that they have a great pass rush option there. And I think that he's able to be there with Trevor Lawrence in this up and coming franchise that could in a couple of years be contenders for the playoffs and then eventually the Super Bowl. And I think that's what Shaq Barrett might want to do if he's not going back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Speaking of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they're actually the representative at this next position to the linebacker position with one of the most underrated players in the league in Levante David, who's silently dominated four years and is still somehow getting overshadowed by Devin White on his team. One of the best inside linebackers in the league and best linebackers in general. And he's so underrated and he proved that I think this year playing tremendously. Um, and so I think he, he deserves to get paid. And if it's not by the Buccaneers, I have him being paid by the Cleveland Browns because they are in desperate, desperate need of linebacker help. I was talking with Anish who's a Browns fan. He says, if I do this video and I go with someone outside of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it's gotta be the Browns. And I actually believed it too. And I think it would be a perfect fit for them. They're looking for a leader on the defensive side of the ball who can man that linebacking core and there's no more perfect option than Levante David. In my opinion, the cornerback position was the toughest of all of these, but I ended up going with Shaquille Griffin over guys like JC Jackson, Richard Sherman, and Darius Williams. I just felt like Griffin was the perfect combination of, you know, youth, as well as talent, as well as what he's been asked to do in the NFL. The knock on Jay-Z Jackson was, I just don't think he's the number one corner. Richard Sherman's a little bit too old. And Darius Williams, I'm just not sure what to expect yet because he's been able to play alongside Jalen Ramsey. But Shaquille Griffin has been the number one corner for the Seahawks for a couple of years. And yes, last year was rough, but his year before that as a Pro Bowl caliber corner was, you can't deny that. And so I think that if he doesn't return to the Seahawks, he'll go to the Washington football team who need yet another star player on this defense because they have a lot of D-line and front seven talent. But when it gets to the secondary, other than Kendall Fuller, who had a pretty good year last year, they could use a star cornerback or a star DB. And there's no better place here than Shaquille Griffin to man that outside uh, because Kendall Fuller playing the slot. And I think Shaquille Griffin slots in right on the outside and Look, if they're going to get a bunch of pressure, Shaquille Griffin is going to get a lot of bad passes thrown to him. So a lot of interceptions there. It seems like if you're a corner, I would really want to go to Washington. If you're Washington, you need a corner. So perfect match right here. 
at the final position at the safety position. I was going to go with Justin Simmons of the Denver Broncos, but it looks like he's already gotten the franchise tag. So he's technically not a free agent anymore. So I'm going to go with Marcus May of the New York Jets, who had a breakout season this year, taking over for Jamal Adams after he was traded away. And honestly, when looking at Jamal Adams from previous years and Marcus May this year, they were very similar. And Marcus May played almost the exact same role. And knowing that the Dallas Cowboys were super interested in Jamal Adams and just missed out on getting him, I believe that if if May gets away from the Jets, he will go to Dallas, be signed by the Cowboys because he's able to play that Jamal Adams role that they've shown that they were so interested in. And they've needed a high caliber safety for the longest time now. And I think they get that option in Marcus May right now. Still pretty young and still has potential to get even better. So a very under the radar free agent. And yes, I'm maybe a little bit biased as a Jets fan, but I think that he's a great option on the free agent market. And right now, after Justin Simmons was tagged, the best free agent safety. Anyways, that's going to wrap up my list. Uh, Forgive me for pouring water on myself in between shots, but this is a different style of video than I've ever done. So let me know now in the comment section what you think of this style of video, whether I should do it more often. Also, let me know what you thought of my picks for the best every position and where I thought they were going to end up. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me. I want to hear it all. I'll respond to every comment and converse with you guys down in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and hitting the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. You definitely want to be subscribed for more NFL content as well with college football content and draft content as everything comes this is the best time for nfl football content on youtube and this is a must subscribe so go down there hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it but if you want to hear a little bit more you can also go listen to our podcast down in our description and the pinned comment where we talk for at length each week about many different nfl topics where we can cover more breaking news stuff as well as more opinion pieces like that but If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button and check out our podcast, our Twitter, Instagram, and our website are down in the description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Jack Smith from The Cold Hard Truth, and I will see you next time.